So this is the uh, SK150 uh, skimmer. Um, it's a skimmer, it's not a filter. Um, a lot of confusion sometimes in the marketplace that people believe skimmers are filters. Um, and it isn't. All that it's designed to do is to pick up the leaves and debris off the surface of the pond. Um, I'm just going to open it up right here. I uh, take the lid off. The, uh, some of the benefits of this uh, skimmer is that it uh, comes with a really good weir, really strong rubber build, uh, build up. We've put the face plate on. Normally your liner would come in between this and you'd screw through your liner. Once you're all installed, you would then cut out that opening. Okay. What I'll do is I'll uh, we'll have a video on installing skimmers up online, but right now I just want to talk about this part uh, uh, first. So the feature of the skimmer is it has a huge basket. One of the problems with skimmers is that oftentimes they'll just have a little basket right here or a net, and behind here is where the pump sits. What happens though is if this net gets filled, the pump doesn't get enough water and the pump ends up burning out and failing. This will never happen with this skimmer. The reason is that it's a massive basket and the pump actually sits down below right here um, in that little cavity. I'll pull the parts out in a, right now and show you. Um, so the basket just comes out. It's a massive basket, allows you to trap a lot of stuff. One of the things you'll notice about this basket is it has very large holes in it. The reason that it has large holes like that is this skimmer is specifically designed for our FP pump. Our FP pump is our filter pump, so anything that can pass through this basket can pass through our pump and goes directly into the filter or out of the pond. That's the beauty of this uh, uh, skimmer, is that it is perfectly engineered for a specific pump, rather than other types of skimmers on the marketplace where the pump is just a sump pump, it's not engineered for anything, it's just a sump pump and people have designed a skimmer that you can put a sump pump in, but they all have an inherent problem and that is that that foam or basket that they have or net that they have that separates where the pump is, it allows for the pump to run dry or run with very low water level. So I'm just going to hold up this, the pump and show you what we've done here. Um, the pump, we've turned around and we've taken the FP pump out of the box, out of the housing um, that it comes in. And if you watch the FP video, you'll see that we did this. How you do it? Very easy. So this can just sit in the back. Here's the inlet. And uh, what this pump does, or the skimmer does, is it specifically mounts up so that this sits and the outlet of this goes out and through the back wall of the skimmer. And it's all done with a seal, watertight seal. So it's a great little system. It sits in. You can put up to 3,200 gallons an hour pump in there to flow, which is perfect for this doorway. Um, I'm going to pull it apart here, hook it up, and show it to you in a second down in there because um, it's pretty easy. Once I get organized, I'll show you how we hook up all the parts. All right, so what I've done is I've got the pump out, as you know. I put on this coupling, this threaded coupling. Then if you just uh, look down in here, this can just sit right down inside that pump right there, that chamber. And then you have this fitting, which comes through the back wall. It's got a gasket on it comes through the back wall and it threads into that coupling and what will happen is as I'm threading it in it begins to tighten it up gets it all nice and tight and it's all mounted on and it's watertight now so the flow will come in and go from there um, and uh, everything will work out nice and what I'm just going to do is just pull this cord out because there's a little attachment here to be able to hide the cord in the wall of the skimmer. So this will go down in here and keep the cord out of your way of your basket so when you're emptying your basket you don't have to worry about uh, the cord getting in your way. Okay. So with that all in now and I'm transitioned to the outside I then have an adapter here that threads on that outside fitting and this goes to inch and a half so you have lots of options to be able to plumb into you can hook onto hose, you can hook onto whatever you want. Um, there's all kinds of fittings. There's also a pump retaining clip that if you wanted to uh, um, hold the pump down in there, you can do that. You don't really need to, but it is nice because if you are cleaning up in there and banging around, you don't necessarily want to have your pump move. So there's a couple of screws and stuff like that to hold that all down. It works out very, very well. I'll put the basket back in just to show you. Um, so the way the basket just goes in and sits is, 
the front part goes near the front of the door down in and then it locks down in and you're good to go so there's two clips right there locks into place and you're good to go your door is open so it's like that so the really simple part is as the skimmer you want to clean it let's say it's dirty it's running water will be here all you do is walk up and close it don't worry about it, um, turning your pump off because it'll just begin to drain down inside the skimmer once all the debris is down in the basket you can just unclip the basket lift it up your pump will sit there and gurgle it's not going to hurt the pump you can bang out the skimmer out into the garbage or into your garden put the, the basket back in place lock that in you're good you just open up the door and the water will come gushing in again it's as simple as that